I decided to make this recording when I learned that the plane we are going to use from JKIA to Kisumu airport was uh, 50 years old and I came to know that it is one of the oldest planes still in service which is owned by the East African company and it's a DC 914 so let's go to the flight so we boarded at around 6.45 a.m. and uh, the plane was uh, around 60% full It is operated by Fly 540. So the experience at first when you learn that it is a 50-year-old airplane, you know, the, the, you know, there are mixed reactions. You are like, are we going to make it 50, 50 years old? No, is it not worn out? Is it okay for the flight? But uh, let's see. Here is the lift off from the runway. Well, if you chose to drive from the JKA to Kisumu Airport, you'll drive for 370 kilometers while flying, we are going to cover 276 and it's all in 30 minutes. So if you take the 276 kilometers traveled in 30 minutes, it gives you a cruising speed of 552 kilometers per hour, which is actually low because flights going for long distances take double, triple or even four times this speed. Our meal in the short flight was served 12 minutes after takeoff. Then I put the recording to pause until we approached Kisumu. Twenty minutes into the flight we are already approaching Kisumu. And there you can see the vast of Lake Victoria as you approach Kisumu city. After just 15 minutes turnaround, we are back in the air again.
time around the plane was uh, almost 40 to 50 percent full so I, I think there's one thing about uh, airlines and aviation because uh, uh, you cannot tell that this plane is actually 50 years old you cannot you cannot tell because everything seems just as good as new you know the seats the the the, the floor the cabin the overhead lights the lockers everything seemed just as good as new but we could not believe that the plane was actually 50 years old and uh, this was confirmed to us by the captain who even gave gave me a chance to 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 go to the cockpit and see the things that they were doing there some snacks once again on our return flight and here we are with the captain in the cockpit okay. and this time around uh, they are preparing us for landing Well, actually, during landing, it is the norm. It is uh, the norm for whoever is in, everyone in the in the airplane to be seated, the passengers, the crew, and uh, but the captain was so generous to me. He allowed me to remain in the cockpit and sit on that seat reserved for the aircraft engineer and to film uh, to record my video from there, watch the landing. You know, it was a one-time uh, experience for me, one-time life experience for me. You know watching the, the runway coming closer and closer, the ground approaching, it was so memorable. Oh, listen to that. Wow, here we come. And now I'm a bit nervous because the ground is coming so fast, we're almost hitting the runway. So nervous. experience so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, as much as i did i decided to record and film it when i knew we were going to travel on a 50 hour airplane and uh, the experience was wonderful so see you next time